entertain us with. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's always <laughs> entertaining to have Craig. Serious business. Yes. I don't know what's the more humor. Craig is a computer. We'll find out. There's still uh, beverages and cookies up here for, for those who wish to partake. If anyone's interested, the video will be out on YouTube. I'll try to post a link to the uh, list. Great. Usually the more humorous part of this is trying to get the video. Oh, that worked. <laughs> I mean, that, is that was that. phenomenal how, <laughs> how that worked. That was uh, completely expected. <laughs> Sounds like it. Shots off. Alrighty. Yeah. 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 Craig Maloney, and this is a brief overview of <coughs> computer humor. So, let's hit any key to continue, if we will. Where's the any key? Does any, you've all seen this before, right? Sure. I and mean, this is pretty pervasive. I don't think there's an office in the world that hasn't seen this. I haven't seen it. And that's the thing, is that, you know, computers have really permeated our lives. I mean, this is a park bench somewhere. Uh, <laughs> they, they had like a painting contest, and so they had different things, you know. Uh, so, <laughs> they, 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 so it's computer based, and you know, computers are becoming part of our daily lives. And, you know, they're they're showing up in all of our devices and such. So, one question though is, does humor really belong in computers? I mean. You know, computers are really kind of scary things. In that. You know, they are serious business. I mean, I, it's international business machines. They're very serious things. <laughs> and, but, you know, early I'll on... I'll that picture. Uh, oh, did I lose the slide? Yeah, look at, look at the, the monitors. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's set the Wayback Machine, if we will, for the first computer bug. Now... Mm -hmm. This was in 1945, the U.S. Navy was finishing the Mark IV, which is, you know, or the Mark II, I'm sorry, yeah. which is a very heavy-duty computer calculator type thing. I mean, it's probably, you know, it's, it's basically like a scientific calculator in today's parlance, uh, and probably costs as much as a TI-83 uh, in today's money. But it's, you know, the, the first thing they, they found is that the thing stopped. And the reason it stopped was because of this little guy right here, the most famous moth in history. Uh, this guy got caught in one of the relays and got the crap beaten the heck out of it. <laughs> and uh, so they very carefully took it out and coined the term bug. And we use that every day. You know, we, we call our stuff bugs. There's a lot of terminology. I've seen this in several places as well. Uh, you have your finger poking and mitten grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a second to sit in. It's like the screws shut. Everybody had a chance to read it? Hands in dust pockets. Relax and watch the blinking Relax and watch the dust blinking lights. <laughs> so I mean, this is this is showing up in you know I've seen it in, on a uh, a little sign for Ampex tape recorders and that type of stuff. I mean this is showing up all over the place. <coughs> Tell me if you guys remember <laughs> and or have any of these. <laughs> There's a site out there called PlanetMVS.com, which has got a lot of uh, humor stuff for mainframe folks as well. Uh, I'll show kind of weird up there. <laughs> so yeah, I mean these these are these are old. I mean, you know, how many people make buttons nowadays? Not too many people. Uh, and of course, TSO I'm sure is still IBM's flagship system. <laughs> <laughs> So here's a few quickies. 
between the burning burgundies. You hear without cobalt and fortran is like a piece of chocolate cake without ketchup and mustard. <laughs> <laughs> if you can pick it up, it's a PC. If you can't pick it up, you can push it over. It's a mini computer. But when you can pick it up and knock it over, it's a mainframe. <laughs> if you can't pick it up, we're not going. Yeah. <coughs> How many IBM employees does it take to change a light bulb? And I know I'm going to screw this one up. <laughs> 15. Five to do it and 10 to write a document. Number GC7500439-001. Multitasking incandescent source system facility. Of which 10% of the page just state only this page <laughs> <and> <laughs> this that. breaks my heart too all this equipment like that yeah, that, that you're that's, that's, that's like, like yeah that's like what that's I have to do <laughs> <laughs> no that's the one that always cracks me up these advertisements oh our new computer takes up so much less space so much yeah. less power well, you take out those racks of nine gig drives and put in a few terabyte drives. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to read this because you can't really read it up here. Back in the late 1980s, one of Digital Equipment Corps, VAX VMS operating system developers planned to sign. VMS OS has two types of kernel two types of kernel memory pools to allocate from: paged, which can be swapped out, and non-paged, which cannot move. Clearly this pool is of the latter type. Deck was bought up by Compaq, which in turn was bought by Hewlett Packard, but sur the sign survives unchanged. <laughs> I wish they would put like a pool, and actually buy a pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, where do you find a lot of this old type of computer stuff? Well, the problem is that a lot of it predates the internet, uh, to a certain extent. I mean, a lot of these old computer jokes that are out there, you know, unless people collected it on an old mailing list or something like that, they're, they're not out there. Uh, a lot of these things have been reappropriated. You know, not a lot of people talk about vax, but of course the anti-vaxxers uh, and vaxxers and all the other type of stuff have a lot of humor that apparently if you do a search for vax humor, you'll find. Uh, <laughs> a lot of the sites are just no longer there. You know, anything that was on GeoCities, bye. <laughs> uh, and Usenet isn't what it used to be, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but I did find a few things. Uh, there is a Wikipedia entry for computer humor, uh, which I can show you real quick. Easter egg. Yes, I think I can. There's a lot of computer-related Easter eggs as well, uh, which are really cool. Uh, some of them humorous, some of them kind of odd and such. I'll show you one in a second. Uh, there's a few in eeggs.com. And, uh, and of course, let me Google that for you. Uh, it's kind of humorous as well. I love that one. You know, th this is an example of a, an Easter egg that's in uh, Debian and in Ubuntu as well. Uh -huh. So this is a Debian version. How many of you have heard the bastard operator from hell? How many of you are the bastard operator from hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a couple books. I've only got uh, books two and three. Uh, that are available, that are collected uh, from Plan 9 Publishing. Uh, this one's The Bastard Operator from Hell 2, Son of the Bastard, and this one is Bride of the Bastard Operator from Hell. Uh, it's by Simon Travaglia, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, and uh, they're very cool, uh, especially the books. You can find all the stuff online at bofh.ntk.net <coughs> slash, all in capitals, B-O-F-H. What happens if you don't do it in capitals? Uh, I have no idea. 404. Yeah. Let me I Google this. Let me Google that for you. Actually, it <laughs> might be a permission denied. And I have no idea actually what it does. I'm sure it works. But these are really cool. If you can pick them up in the paperback, if you have, if you like the dead tree, or if you want to read it all online, you can do that. Really funny stuff. Uh, the jargon file. Yeah, unfortunately, this is kind of small too. This one's for Rick. Uh, first panel. <laughs> this terminal is pretty good once you get used to the keyboard. Return and rub out. I'm going to read it up in here. Mm. Are well placed, and the function keys for the 3D editor. There's just one thing that bothers me. Why do I have to type control meta left bracket to get an uppercase Q? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the space cadet keyboard. Uh, the jargon file is really awesome for trying to figure out not only you know what does something mean, but it's a really good resource for a lot of history over the years. A lot of the terminology that we have, you know, stuff like rock, you know, came from particular things that has a kind of humorous meaning to it. Um, so that is available online. Um, Eric Raymond uh, is the one who at least hosts it. I'm not sure if he still maintains it or not, if he still, if he just, you know, throws out a new version. Um, Google that. 
we have to put a link there. Yeah, you should be able to read this. Everyone good? Alright. Unix Haters Handbook. Uh, they used to have a, a print version in 1994 uh, that came with the Unix barf bag as well. Uh, you can also pick it up online, uh, m.simpson.net slash ugh.pdf. Uh, I have a copy of the PDF, I may bring it up later, a little later on. But it's, uh, it's a little bit dated because of course 1994 we've moved on, we've actually solved some of the problems, some of the problems we haven't really solved. Uh, in lo those many years, things are still, you know, Unix underneath and such. But it's a, uh, it's a, it's a humorous book, good for taking a little, uh, taking some of the, the, the some some of the luster off of the Unix system. <laughs> that's up, you know. I like Unix. Some people don't. Why do Unix work die? From the I thought you were dead department, the Internet Oracle is still around. For those of you who are not aware, the Internet Oracle is uh, a question and answer site. You post a question, it anonymizes it, and then someone else answers it. They pick the best answer for that, and then they put it together in this thing called the Internet Ar Oracularities Digest. Mm -hmm. This formerly used to be called the Usenet Oracle. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I did write one back in 1992, and that's the link to it. Uh, it's for the Norton Mind Utilities, or something along that line back when Norton was still a going concern. But yeah, check it out over at uh, cgi.cs.indiana.edu's tilde oracle. And Google. <laughs> and Google. So how about something a little current? I mean, that's, you know, fine and good and stuff. You know, that stuff's been around forever. But, now I'm sure everyone knows this site. And if you don't know this site, well, now you know this site. XKCD is phenomenal. Uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's a lot of techie stuff, uh, sometimes a lot of science-y type stuff, uh, pop culture sometimes, and of course the alt text. If you hold it over there, you'll get some yes. alt text for it. Yeah. Well. You have to read the alt text. You have to read the alt text. In fact, there is, on Google Reader on the mobile phone, they will show you the alt text <laughs> on, on the, uh, from the, the Android screen. So. That you actually can hold it and it'll show you the alt text. And I think this is the reason yeah. that they made that, because nobody else, I'm sure, would ever think to do that. There's also an XKCD app for your Android phone. Yeah, is there? Okay. Yeah. So you don't miss it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, site that I like called Not Invented Here. Uh, it's computer related humor as well. I'll leave those up for a little bit. They went through two different artists, so that's why I got two different. Uh, cartoons up here. Um, <coughs> hysterical stuff. I, I love it. I think it's daily or if it's at least week daily. Whoa! No, don't do that. I thought that was on purpose. <laughs> it's the cable. I think the cable's got some. You're stepping on it. I'm stepping on it. Hey! <laughs> Maybe it's the other end of the cable. <laughs> What are you pinching it with your plug? Apparently, I am. <laughs> You're squeezing the. Or does that cable plug into something? The end of the wall, man. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> yeah. Does that plug into something? Does that cable plug into something? No, it's just anywhere. Yeah, that was us. And now we have a brief wireless. wireless. <laughs> this is the funny part of the. The other end of the cable, I have my wireless cables are the best. Yeah, yeah, I must have knocked yeah, it out. Yeah, that's true. Wop, 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 Here we go. Wireless wire? Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah. Apparently, the other end is important. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's these running. little things on the cable that <laughs> they screw in. It's really handy. It's a really handy invention. Someone should patent that. No, what happens is then when you <laughs> pull sure on the cable, it breaks the wires. So, <laughs> has anybody, everyone had a chance to see it? No, it was that okay. for a while. <laughs> I'll wait. It had some downtime. <laughs> <laughs> this one didn't go down See, I was supposed to have GitHub. <laughs> Is 
that's not invented here.com? Yeah, it's not invented here.com. Is that a what, what is it? Is that a gun in his it's hand? It's a gun in his hand, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Can I use your gun after you blow your brains <laughs> out? No. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> like they're yeah. gonna stop you. <laughs> the daily WTF. If you're not looking yeah. at the daily WTF, I don't know how to help you. Favorite. There's a lot of really good stuff on there. A lot of, uh, oh my God, why did they even think that that was a thing? Uh, why did they do that? So uh, there's a lot of code examples and that. Unfortunately, because it, it doesn't, the code examples don't show very well, but they also have error D, uh, which shows you know, the various ways that things will screw up in humorous ways. Nobody but a goody, user friendly. Uh, Userfriendly.org. Uh, there's several different books, all published by O'Reilly. This is uh, even Grooves Get Full. I think this is the third collection. It's copyright 2003. Um, definitely check them out online. Uh, I don't know the current <coughs> status. I think they're in reruns now. Yeah. Uh, I think Iliad kind of um, hung it up. Uh, it kind of it got really dark yeah, toward the very end. Word, yeah. So, but yeah, uh, if you want a trip down memory lane, if you want to remember the internet bubble when it was happening, user userfriendly.org. <laughs> and of course, wearable humor. Uh, ThinkGeek is a great resource for a lot of t-shirts <laughs> and that, uh, a lot of cubicle type stuff as well. It's computer related. Um, all right. <laughs> Where do we go from here, folks? <laughs> you tell me. Anybody got a site? I always uh, love the I don't. Yeah, I'm bringing, <coughs> I'm bringing some of mine up. Okay. Yeah, XKCD, there's, there, the guy that does it does another thing. I, 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 I'm, I've got to bring it up to find <coughs> it. Basically, it's uh, it's called What If. What If? Yeah. 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 Yeah, what if is amazing. He, he did a great one this last month. Yeah. He did a great one uh, several weeks ago about uh, what if everybody in the world jumped up at the same time? <laughs> would, it, would it affect the the, the, the Earth in any way? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he said basically, you know, the mass of the Earth and the mass of all the people, it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But then he, he went on to describe what would ha how you would go about doing that, how you would get everybody to jump up and down at the same time. Yeah. And he figured that everybody. If they were all standing up, they could fit in in uh, an area. I think the size of Rhode Island, probably, yeah, or, or it was Connecticut, somewhere over there on the East Coast. So, but the real problem isn't if they jumped up and down; it's how you would deal with that many people. Yeah, just <laughs> leaving. It would take like thousands of years for them all to leave that yeah. area, and, and they would run out of food, and they would yeah. run out of gas, and <laughs> it's it's quite good. There you go. There it is. Yeah, I think this there you go. Everybody jump. Does this an, get an answer to uh, the Oracle or? No, these are just questions that he gets sent in. Yeah, he, he's 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 a, a lot of them are questions that have been out there for years and years. Yeah, yeah. And he gets a lot of email like, "What about this and that?" Because he has a lot of yeah. comics that are scientific and like researchy in nature. And mm -hmm. what's funny is that he, yeah. he, I mean, I forget was he a physicist or he used to work for NASA. At least. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, a, he's an he astrophysicist. Like pretty good. Yeah, so there he is in, in Rhode Island. Island. Yep. In Rhode Island, all those people standing up would all fit in Rhode Island, but uh, be kind of crowded. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Stocking sufficient food would be a real problem. Uh, <laughs> you, you have to read the whole article. Yeah, so yeah. Like yeah. waste would be a real problem. Uh, so Some uh, programming languages. Hello, uh, Elko. Hello, Elko. I like that. something you know. High can has standard I/O, visible, high world, K thanks by, etc. Oh, there's another one. Obfuscated. 
The International Obfuscated C Code Contest. So the idea, it's still running by the way. Some uh, winning entries here. Obfuscated. This program it. plays life, computes pi to 16 digits, is given its own sources of input, and allows you to check if your garden is a garden of Eden all in one source. <laughs> so, uh, if you're bored. <laughs> I don't think so. No? No. Uh, there's um, Get a garbage in, garbage out. There we go. April Fool's Day request for comments. So every year during April 1st, uh, they come, folks come together and read the RFC. Usually well, humorous. Yeah, of course you got Dilbert, right? You want that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, That's depressing some days though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, wow, it's um, too close to what you do every day. Some days. I work with three of those people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the indexed is kind of a, a neat. I like movie. the Eagle Day. I'm just going to find the URL to it. Where's that? Indexed. Um, this is this it. indexed? It's not the kind of... Try it. Uh, uh, try that. You should be a user group, Is that so if it's this woman, and every day it's a different graph that's uh, usually just... She plots two data points that are usually diametrically opposed. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm trying to find if I can get to the uh, URL of it. This is index.com, is that it? I think that's oh, it. there it is, yeah. Yeah, Jessica Nagy. Mm -hmm. uh, these are things I have that come up in my my uh, 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 RSS feed. Uh, creepy Crawly, the ceiling, the, the ceiling baby in the train spot. I, I haven't seen that movie, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> used to do more computer stuff. Yeah. And, and now they're more mm -hmm. console than anything. This one's more gaming related. More power. But, uh, let's see. Let me find one. Uh, Dark Tower. Uh, Pearls Before Swine is a pretty good comic. Yeah, the problem with the, those of those, they don't really focus on as much. Um, yeah. Happy September. It's where you unfriend your relatives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is it? September? September, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of geek type comics I don't know, that are out there. Oh, uh, Cody and Horror, is that the one you would oh. That's part of uh, uh, Daily WTF. Well, he does more... Um, it's more of a programming type blog, though. Yeah. Than a humor blog. Yeah. Sure. Um, 
There's another one, uh, uh, it's not humor, but it's certainly interesting, called Damned Interesting. <coughs> uh, Damn, D-A-M-N's uh, Interesting. I don't know what the URL is, though. It doesn't show the URL in my reader on my uh, iPad. Damninteresting.com? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. probably right. That's what showed up in the book. It's, it's like I said, it's not humor, but it, it is damn interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's always local gas drink guys. Yeah, we're we're not funny. <laughs> That's serious business. Um, Snack <coughs> overflow is always good for a laugh. <laughs> That's unintentional humor. <laughs> Actually, no. This is this is a great humor site. Programmer exchange. (laughs) 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 Whatever you think, man, I should just change out of the business. You can find a bunch of people that probably should before you. How to be a software engineer. Yeah. This is a, a blog that I follow. Um, yeah, he, he worked for Atari for a bit. And uh, so he's got a lot of interesting stories. Um, some some of which are humorous, some of them are toe cringingly. Why? <laughs> but it's a, it's an interesting blog, I should say. I would say. Um, anyone else? Yeah. In Unix, as first conceived, yes, a lot of the commands of whatever are sexually oriented. Okay. Like mount. Yeah. And I don't remember. Yeah. <coughs> mount. F disk. Yeah, a string of whatever's I don't remember. <coughs> A lot of these are fun because they're really old. I'm sure everyone remembers Meets Ethics. <laughs> Have a sex change operation go, modifier failed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 some old ones. Two and a half. Got a light, no match. Category for Unix humor. There's a lot of fun Windows bashing stuff in there. Where did you see that? Was that on there? Uh, what about Unix shell humor? Actually oh, text files. <laughs> I forgot about text files. Um, text files has got a lot of interesting stuff that happened on the BBS scene. 107 long, 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 long time ago. I mean. <laughs> What about bash.org? Bash, bash.org. You can get unintentionally humorous as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's see if there's some new stuff in here. Alice in Unix land. Apparently this person is still not done laughing. Okay. 
You're not going to read it aloud to us? No. <laughs> Thank you. Story Are you time. kidding? Story time. <laughs> yeah. Said it was long. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Administration Horror Stories from the Usenet, 1992. Oh, God. You've gotten longer than to a max. Oh, that's where, they, that's where they laugh about things like people sticking a floppy to a filing cabinet with a magnet. Um, Y'all remember what a floppy is, right? Yeah. How <laughs> about oh, a filing cabinet? Yeah. <laughs> Proper care of floppy disks. In fact, I want to buy one. Though. No, filing cabinet's where you put all your old laptops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this is like the early version of the daily WTF. Yeah. Yeah. And this is yeah. This is basically what it is. Yeah. Uh, I I've just recently found daily WTF. And it, it's the no archives are great. No end of. I should go back and read it. It's yeah. no end of, of uh, entertainment. Anywho, is that your home page? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so anywho. Okay, now you drive. Now you drive. Anybody else got any other stuff? Or? That's pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> now we're turning back to your cat, cat videos and such. Uh -oh.